Welcome to Surgical X, Surgery Explained. My name is Paul Halfman. I'm a certified surgical first assistant. And today's topic is drains and how to secure a drain to the patient's skin. Um, sometimes in surgery, we use drains um, and we always want them to stay in until they're ready to come out. Uh, for today's demonstration, I'm gonna use this paper straw. Why a paper straw and why not an actual drain? because I don't want you guys stealing stuff from the hospital to practice at home with. Go to the, if you don't have a straw at home, go to the gas station, buy a straw. Buy something that comes with a straw, or just buy straws like these. All right, let's start with our rubber model. This is the area where I want the drain to come out, and this would be the wound area or cavity that I want to drain, okay? So I have, a pocket knife, of course, the pocket knife isn't part of your typical surgical gear, but I've created a path superficially to deep inside the wound. Now, I'm, next, I'm going to take an instrument, I'm going to follow that path into the cavity. Now, when you're inserting a drain, you want that drain to go directly from the sterile package into the patient. You don't want it laying on the back table, mayo stand, definitely don't want it laying on the patient's skin. It could draw bacteria into the wound and be a potential source for infection. So try to get that drain directly from the package into the patient, grab it with your instrument and pull it through. Now you'll notice I'm going from the wound or body cavity out to the skin. I'm not dragging from the skin down into the wound and dragging whatever bacteria might be on that skin down into the wound. And we pull it out. There it is. There's our drain. Now, we also want to consider direction. Drain, you probably want to drain downwards from the patient. So I have the direction facing this way for this example, we'll call that downwards or a direction that we feel is going to be comfortable for the patient. Next, I'm going to take a nylon suture. It's a non-absorbable suture that's typically used for this purpose. Now, considering the direction, it's already, the straw is rigid, so it's already facing the direction I want. I'm going to throw a simple interrupted suture down here at the skin as our base. Okay. So I'm going to tie this. There's one, but I don't want to tie it all the way tight to the skin. If you have someone around that can assist you, you could have them put an instrument in here to help keep some space there or you could just not go down all the way. So I used one direction to tie that one. Now I'm gonna tie a knot in the opposite direction. You'll notice this nylon has a, little, a lot of memory to it, so it wants to spool up on me. So I'm gonna do another one and let's do four. So, there, you have a knot, but it has a little bit of a gap, right? See that space between the skin and the knot? Now, I'm going to do what's called, often called a Roman sandal, which is wrap this around a couple times, like so, and then I'll do a knot around the drain. Since this has a lot of memory, I'll do five throws with my knot. Like so. And I'm going to cut these tails extra long. So there you have it. 
what are we looking at? We're looking at a simple interrupted suture at the base here with a gap, right? So we're not strangulating the skin there. Wrap that around the drain in a Roman sandal style. And then I tied another knot at the top. That'll hold that drain in place until it's ready to come out. Okay, I hope today's demonstration was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Julie, for adjusting my microphone volume. I really appreciate that. It helps a lot. Um, guys, please take care of yourself. Please take care of your patients. And please do the right thing every time. Thank you.